My name is Jordan Ramnitz. I live near Corsica, South Dakota. This is my son, Ethan, he's seven. We've lived on this farm for about 10 years now. I farm about 1,500 acres of cropland and I have about 45 cows. My dad started no-tilling 25 years ago and I kind of picked up there and just am looking to take things to the next level conservation-wise to improve it for long term. A lot of the land I've farmed myself has been picked up from people who have done tillage. So I kind of started at ground zero with improving the ground. No-till was part of that when I first started and now taking that to cover crops and soil health and practices like that, working to improve it that way. Hopefully, you know, long term, building a resilient soil is a word I heard and that's kind of stuck with me. If it's wet, if it's dry, if it's cold, if it's hot, I want a soil that protects me in those situations or is able to handle those situations without costing me a crop. Building a resilient soil is something that is kind of a goal of mine. No-till in this area is a benefit the first year just because of time, less equipment. The covers is a little harder to quantify the economic benefits. It does cost, it does take time, and it does take equipment to do it. Covers for me is a long-term goal of what I want my land to be like when I'm done. I started covers probably dabbling six, eight years ago. This year, 90 plus percent of my acres have a cover on them. And last year, I had maybe 50 to 60 percent. And the year before that, you know, maybe only 10 to 20 percent. So I'm kind of ramping up. The purpose for me for cover crops was water management, erosion, and overall soil health to improve that. And the water management, like I said, the infiltration, year one, you can see that. We've had some big rains in the spring the last few years, and cover crops have certainly shined. I've been planting green, and the results in the spring with the big rains has shown itself in the water infiltration and also erosion big time on the erosion side with those rains in the spring. So that's usually a delicate time for the soil where it's coming out of the freeze winter cycle and it's easy to erode in the spring. So I've noticed a big benefit there. We're in rolling ground here where if the water runs off, you know, usually the low areas will be the trouble spot and the cover crop allows it to infiltrate up on the hills and not run down into the bottom. So that has helped to get into the fields quicker, actually. Planting green is, for me, is going out there when the cover is still living or, or terminated shortly before and planting that cash crop into that living cover. I've been doing that for three years and it's pretty uncommon practice, but I find that if people are looking at you funny, sometimes you're going the right directions. If you have something growing out there, that is the main thing. And more diversity is good. We know that there's so many living things there and when you go out there and dig when, with the living cover, it just looks alive. Another thing with the covers, I think it kind of breaks up the pattern and allows a more balanced system with the insects especially. Instead of having a problem with a certain pest, you have other bugs that manage that. Grazing cover crops is something I'm intrigued by. Last year was probably my first year trying it in the spring. I grazed my cows on a field for a month and we had record rainfall in that month and I still raised one heck of a corn crop off there. It wasn't my best, but it was a poor field and it did very well. I want to leave my farm the best way I can leave it. I don't want to make an excuse and say, I could have done that or I could have done this. And part of that comes into the legacy that I want to leave and how I want to leave it for the next generation. And hopefully one of my kids, that's the legacy I can leave for them. If, if it's not one of my kids, hopefully it's some other person that wants to share the same ideas and have the same philosophy about the farm and about the soil that I do.